Okay, so now we're looking at right right, right hand rectangles. A lot of times on the AP test they'll refer to it as uh, like a Riemann sum approximation or a right Riemann sum or left Riemann sum approximation, something like that. Um, so if you see that, you'll uh, you know, know to do this method. And um, for right hand rectangles, we'll only do, um, we'll just do two rectangles just to try and get the idea here. Um, so again, we're going to start out with using two rectangles and that should be, you know, in the problem that'll tell you how many rectangles to use. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going from 0 to 2, we're using the same graph, we're using two rectangles, so that means the width of each rectangle is going to be 1, since in this case uh, we're going to make them equal widths. And so the first rectangle goes from 0 to 1, so in this case the heights are determined by whatever the um, y value of the graph is at the right hand end point. So that means that the height at 1 determines this first rectangle. So we have, you know, our point 1, 1 right there, so this would look like a first rectangle, that's what it looks like. From 1 to 2, the height of the rectangle is determined by the y value at the right end point again, which is, in this case is 2. So here's that right end point. Let me go ahead and draw that rectangle, which doesn't look too great, but it's okay. And you can see here we have an over approximation. So um, depending on the graph, um, with, whether it's uh, increasing or decreasing, concave up, concave down, um, you know, affects whether it'll be a over approximation or under approximation. Anyways, um, let's just add the, these areas together. So we have the first one is an area uh, or a width of one. It's a height of, remember the height was determined by whatever it is at the right hand end point of one. So this point right here is the point one one. Oops, I'm going to put one four. It's a point one one. So that means it has a height of 1, even though this is not drawn to scale, you can see, and a width of 1. So that first rectangle is a height of 1, a width of 1. Our next rectangle is a width of 1, it's a height of, now it's determined by a 2, so we take 2, plug it into the equation, that point is 2, 4, so it's a height of 4. So it's going to be 2 times 4. So we get for this, it's going to be 1 plus 8, so we get the approximation is 9, which we can clearly see is way too big. And again, if you used more um, rectangles, if you went to 4, 8, 16, 32, and uh, you'd get a better, better approximation. And the idea with integration, which we'll see later, is, you know, integration essentially uses infinitely many rectangles to get an exact area under the curve.